欢迎回到五分钟中文，我是平。今天是星期二，今天我们要来学习。好，好，好。嗯 ，last week 上星期我们已经学习了这个词 ，we already learned this word。这星期，今天 ，this week today， we will learn 我们要学习 how to use this sentence pattern。how to use this sentence pattern。OK。And there's some fixed sentence pattern for how, how, because how is not like a what or who or why. It's just a one word. You can put that into sentence. Then you can translate that. No, it has a fixed sentence pattern, and you have to learn that sentence pattern. Then when you、uh, speak that in Chinese, you will have you will feel not confused. Okay, first let's say how is the ya the ya the ya, like we say. How to say that in Chinese? How to say that? How to say that? Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. Like that in English. After how you put a verb. How to say that? In Chinese, you put verb right after 怎样 right after 怎样 So we will say 怎样说说 means to say or speak. 怎样说他 How to say that? 怎样怎样说那个怎样说这个怎样说他 How to say that? How to say this? So first, remember. After 怎样 we put a verb immediately. We put a verb. How to say that? That is exactly same、uh, as that in English. What I will teach you guys today is how about if in a sentence, how did you go to school yesterday? How did you go to school yesterday? Cause the weather is so bad. Did you go there by bike? <laughs> okay. How did you go to school yesterday? 昨天，昨天 we always put the time at the beginning of sentence in Chinese. 昨天你是怎样去学校的 ？Wow, that is a lot. Yeah. And if you want to analyze sentence by sentence, they are not equivalent. That is what we will talk about today. There's a fixed sentence pattern for how. <coughs> 你是怎样去学校的？你是怎样去学校的 ？So this sentence is. How did you go to school? How did you go to school? 你 you 怎样好去 go 学校 school? Okay, then you may feel confused. Then what is 是是 is M S R. What is the There is a connection word to connect the adjective or description part and the noun. Is there anything adjective here? Is there any M is R in the English sentence? No, no. Why you need that? Okay, that is what we want to talk about. <coughs> the second point for how. If you meet how not in the phrase. And it is in the sentence like how did you go to school? How did you make it? How did you cook that dish? The sentence pattern is always 是怎样 plus a verb, then objective anything is there. Then at the end of sentence, we usually put. So、what is this period mean? That is the Chinese period. We never use this. If you follow my character class every Thursday, you will know this. You have to know that. You have to know that. In Chinese, we never use this. We use this a small circle as a period. Okay. Okay. That is the fixed sentence pattern. 是怎样 Verb, the. So, how did you go to school? 你是怎样 Verb, 去学校的。你是怎样去
学校的。You got it? So this sentence pattern is very important. Very important. Number three, I want to tell you is there's another word you can replace. 怎样？怎样 ？That is 怎么？怎么？怎 is exactly 怎么？怎么？ So for this, you can say, 你是怎么去学校的 Exactly same. Just that there are two ways to say how. Two ways to say how. I want you learn both of them because when you're talking to Chinese, you don't know which word they will use, right? Okay. Anyway, now let me give you more examples. How to say? Here, how to say? How to say? 怎么说？怎么说？哦，怎样说？怎么说？哦，怎样说？ How to say? Yes. How to say? And、uh, how did you learn Chinese? How did you learn Chinese? 你是怎样 or 怎么学学 means learn 中文的 One more time. 你是怎样学中文的 or 你是怎么学中文的 ？You got it?、Um, okay. Next one. And、um, you say, "Hey, I learned that from Five Minute Chinese." By the way, there are a lot of people say,、um, "We love your grammar class." I say, "Hey, I don't have an, a lot of grammar class during the Five Minute Chinese." They say, "Yes, you do. Like, we love your." Explanation for the the adjective plus adjective or description plus the plus noun. A lot of people give me a lot of good comments on that class, which is a little bit surprising for me because I always think grammar is not easy, not easy for people in any language, not for people to follow. But I received a lot of good comments on our on my grammar、uh, class, so I. Like today, I will use more time, like the one day, just talk about some grammar, and I will put more examples there to let you do enough. Then, if you have any question, you are very welcome to ask me anytime on our website. Okay, okay. Anyway, 你是怎样学中文的 I learned that from Five Minute Chinese. Uh huh. I learned that from Five Minute Chinese. Okay. Next one. Next one. How did you cook that? Remember how to say cook? 做饭，做饭 How did you cook that? Or 做饭 means food or rice. How did you cook that? 你是怎样做饭的？你是怎样做饭的 ？Or 你是怎么做饭的？你是怎么做饭的？ One more. How can I help you? How can I help you? Remember help. We learned that yesterday. Help is very important. 帮助，帮助 Or you can say, 帮我一下，帮我一下 How can I help you? Can 能，我能怎怎样帮助你？我能怎样帮助你 ？You may say, "Hey, in this sentence, you don't have 是 very sensitive." Yes. Okay. Now, so another thing. When we meet, can this word we do? This is a very you know even in English. I don't want I don't mean to tell you the term, uh, the grammar term. Even in English, can is a very special verb, right? Same in same in that、uh, same in Chinese. When you say can in Chinese, especially can with comes with a how, you don't need to use this sentence pattern because you need to translate the can. You need to translate the can. How can I help you? 我 How can I help you? 我能 Can means 能我能怎样帮助你 Do you need the No. So when you meet a can comes with a how, you just translate every word in that sentence. You don't need use this 是 and 的 sentence pattern. 
because of this special verb can. You got it? How can I help you? 我我能我能怎样啊？怎么帮助你 ？No the. You got it? Yeah, that's very very important. Let's see one more time. But if I say like this, how did you help him in this sentence? Do we have can? No. So can we use this sentence again? No. Can we use this sentence pattern? Yes. How did you help him? 你是怎样帮助他的？你是怎样帮助他的 ？There's no can, so you have to use that. Uh huh. You can also say, 你是怎么帮助他的？你是怎么帮助他的 ？Same thing. If you say, How can you help him? You see, can there? Can you use this sentence pattern? No, can. Very, very special. 你能怎么帮助他？你能怎么帮助他？你能怎样帮助他？你能怎样帮助他 ？You got it. If you have any question, please let me know. Tomorrow we will have more listenings. I'll give you more、uh, homework to listen to practice your ears and to practice your how to how. Okay, I see you tomorrow. 再见 Thank you for watching our video. Please like and comment if you really enjoyed. Also, if you want to watch more videos, please subscribe to us. If you are interested in donating to help us, please check the links below. Thank you. Bye.